have one sukli and one fjord i sukka. So this is a risotto rice ball filled with mozzarella and this is a zucchini flower and it's filled with ricotta cheese and anchovies. Wilhelmina described what it was and I'm gonna try it. Food similar. Mm. I like this. It tastes like tiftiele but with more cheese and I like more cheese. Next one. I like it too. It's very interesting inside taste. It's like vegetables mixture with some fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is grilled porcini mushrooms. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> Calzone provala el spec. This is what I got. It's folded pizza. First time for me. When I will come to the middle, I will say my opinion because he is only bread. I got bresaola, rucola, and parmesan cheese. It's good. Now we are in our Airbnb, and this is for sure the biggest Airbnb we have ever rented. So let's take a look. On the way up, we have a lot of fruit trees and olive trees. It's really cool. Do you want to try this one? Yeah. Oh. Oi! It's already juicy. Juicy! Ooh. <laughs> it's really good. I think it's the best I have ever tried. Even if it's small, it tastes super good. So here I will try the sharing food. It's so good. It and kind it, of tastes like mango in Thailand. And it's first time I see in my life how they grow. I just saw them before in the grocery store. <laughs> so let's continue up to the house and look around in the garden. And here is the house. Ta-da! I will show around in the garden first. As you can see, it's a huge garden. Oh wow, how big. More olives and here Italian grapes. Wow. We have green ones and here it's the blue ones. I will take them. I don't even like grapes so much. It's not my favorite fruit, but these are so good. Usually from these grapes you do wine. Here is some small outer house. But we will not use it. But I guess we're gonna use a swing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we have some grill here. Yeah, a grill. I'm gonna show you first floor, and Belimina gonna show second. So let's go. Follow me. Here is the corridor. Quite enough space. Wow, look at this picture. Pickles. <laughs> here is the living room. It's enough space for everybody. Everybody can see and uh, play some games and also, wow, look at this. <laughs> looks like it's from Thailand. It's a lot of interesting stuff. Here are some plates. Boy, it looks like they are made from bronze. They are very heavy. Here is a TV. It's a lot of beautiful paintings. Here we come to the dining room. This table can see people so for a big family here is the kitchen kitchen looks actually cozy and interesting the Lemina bought bread in Rome the Lemina is very proud and it smells bellissimo perfecto bravo the Lemina bravo now I will show the second floor here is somebody that has traveled a lot I see it's Russian balalaika on the second floor there are a lot of rooms, so I will start with this one. The green room. I see it's maybe for a child. Here is bedroom number two, and this is the room me and Alex will be using. It is super romantic bed. Here is the third bedroom, which has three small beds. So you can definitely be a big family here. Here is the fourth bedroom. And they also have a romantic mosquito net thing. <laughs> Some interesting masks. This is like a second living room with a very nice view. And from here you can see something in the garden. I will show you a swimming pool. So this is our swimming pool.
Italy we have mini dragons. Look how long tail it is. Alex new friend. He was in the pool and Alex saved him. I will let him go. Run. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you something what I haven't seen personally before. Underwater robot. What? I saw smart robots cleaning the room, but this one cleaned the bottom of the swimming pool. Whoa. <laughs> I thought it was a walnut, but no, it's a fig. And this is in our garden as well. They are even opening by themselves. Took one from the tree and I love this fruit so much. Wow. <laughs> this is cool. I love it. Now we are in the park and we're gonna see the beautiful views. This view or like this hill is called Aventine Hill. Right now we are in the Trastevere neighborhood and this is like the neighborhood where the real Italians live and where the real Italians are in Rome and also it's supposed to be more like an old town like more old-fashioned or classic Italian Traditional way houses and uh, restaurants where they speak only Italian And we just had some delicious gelato at Fata Morgana. It was super good. My flavor with like salt and chocolate and caramel and so on, it was really good. I highly recommend.